everyone welcome to part three of this series of videos um, I'm gonna be talking about the Flirk API and we're gonna be using on this short video uh, how you can get a list of galleries that you made with your account uh, the first thing you need to have is the developer key and the user ID and this one is just a bit tricky because you need the NS ID, not the username uh, on your account. And as you can see below, uh, it returns the same structures from the uh, first video. Uh, the structure is the same. All values are in the attributes of the element, as you can see the ID. But the one that I'll be trying to get right now is the URL of the gallery. So this is how I did it. So what I did is as the first you need thing you need to do is to get the user ID. Um log into your account. Once you log into your flirtaccount.com, log into it and then come back to this URL. This URL will give you the user ID, the NS ID. If you pass on the user ID or your username, it won't work. It will return back saying user not found. So what I'm doing here is the same thing. All you need to do here is update uh, what method you're going to be using. So on this video, we'll be doing get list. Galleries dot get list. And then you pass, as the previous email, you pass your key, API key, and your NS ID. And we continue on the code. Uh, I did the same thing. Just get your web client ready, get your URL ready, and then uh, what I'm doing here for testing purpose, I'm saving the XML on my D, D drive. And from there, I'm using the same idea from uh, getting images, uh, details. I'm going to the galleries, down to the gallery. And as we go back to this one, you need to go down to galleries first. That's the root. And then you go down to your gallery. So that's what the code is doing on this line. It's navigating from the galleries if you have multiple to just one gallery and as you can see here I'm looping through the same uh, through the elements that I have and from here I have another method say get gallery details and what it's doing here is getting all the attributes and it's looping through each and right now I only care for the URL so here as you can see I'm if it's URL that's the name of it I'm getting the value and I'm having Firefox up in the the browser so if I run it I'm just gonna click start debugging as you can see uh, Firefox is here and this is the only gallery that I have uh, the name is 240SX and as you can see I only have two images uh, if you go back to the console, you will see that that's the URL for that gallery. So very simple uh, way of calling uh, the Flirk uh, API just by making sure you have the right uh, parameters and you have the right uh, URL. As you can see here, that's all it did pass two values and then you get back a lot of data from the API so if you have any questions you can either go to facebook.com uh, slash C sharp central or you can go to YouTube also or you can follow me on Twitter at cafe ASP uh, thank you for watching